All right, welcome, welcome. Didn't have my mic ready. All right, the day has come. Our final Cardinals stream made it back to the World Series after losing in six last year to Texas. So, going to try and rectify that problem and get us our first and only World Series championship for this franchise. And uh, get Mike Trout his first one. So we've already played Minnesota earlier in the season. We had a uh, we played a full game and and we played them. Let me see if I can find when that was. That would be mm -hmm. where's Minnesota. Is it September? Did we play them in September? No. May? When did we play Minnesota? Where are they? It was a home game. I know it was a home game. There it is. We played... I think we played here. I think we played this game on the 15th. So... But here we are, so um, I adjusted the uh, rotation just slightly. Um, Chris Cutliffe up one day. Um, Manoa pitched here, so we're going to give him five days off and bring him back for game two. And then we have Painter and then Bybee. I flipped them as well. So we have Bailey Ober and Cutliffe, Joe Ryan and Alec Manoa. And then we have Pablo Lopez and Andrew Painter. And this will be, I think, Framber Valdez against Tanner Bybee. We will see. Um, their bullpen is nothing special. I looked at the, the clutch, the pitching clutch for all their pitchers. And outside of uh, Pablo Lopez and closer Jordan Romano, they don't have really good clutch. So if we can get men on, get, at least get a man on second base in scoring position, um, it will uh, really affect their hits per nine. So we, on the other hand, have a lot of guys that have pretty good cl pitching clutch through bullpen and starting rotation. So we should be able to pitch around that. But here we are. Last stream of this franchise, and then we'll be on to um, a new one, moving Oakland to Utah to be the Utah Avengers. And uh, we will kick that off. Let me see tomorrow's Halloween first second so possibly over the weekend sometime um keep you posted stay tuned so anyway uh, let me turn off discord because anybody going on there is going to make a chirp and drive me insane so all right here we go Game one, 2028 World Series, and we are not wearing these City Connects. We are going to wear a regular home. And they're going to wear their road alternates. And we have Overcast, which happens in October here. Manoa is going to go tomorrow. Got the lineup all fixed against the righty. And here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm actually going to turn my sound card up a little louder. All right. Time to get this championship. We had multiples with Colorado, multiples with Oakland, and we're struggling to get one here. We won 100 games over the last three seasons, this year we dropped to 93, but this is probably our best chance to win one. That's what we're playing for right there. That in the ring. So. All wind is blowing out to left. So we got to make sure we keep the ball park, keep the ball to center field or on the ground. So. 
There we go, Chris Cutliff. Hasn't walked anybody in the playoffs. And the first pitch, the 2028 World Series, is a foul ball. And another foul ball. All right, let's see if we can get him to chase the changeup. Yep, he did, and he ropes it into the gap for a double. Well, that's not how we wanted to start this game, but we'll just deal with it. There we go. Ground ball to the left side. Keep him at second. One down. Bad location. Right pitch. Only up, though. There we go. Now change up. Keep it down. Hmm. We reach for that. And uh, Naylor's going to make the play. Runner moves to third, so... Let's throw a two-seamer up to Julian. This guy is leading the American League for the uh, playoff MVP race. Nolan Gorman leads in the National League. I'm throw that one more time. Wynn's going to get him. There we go. No runs. Pitched around the leadoff double. That's how it goes. Slide up a little bit. All right. Bailey Ober. Four wins in the playoffs. He's been busy. They had to play in the uh, wild card round, so they had an extra two or three games. All right, Donnie, try and get us going. Nope, did not hit that well. He's going to track that down. Timing was good. He just didn't hit it off the fat part of the bat. All right, Mikey, here you go. Your first World Series at bat. That's why we traded for you. Get you a uh, shot at a at a ring. Ball two. There we go. Three and zero. Make them work. If it's right down the pipe. I will swing. If it wasn't down the pipe. It was still going to be a strike. Should have took it. That's all right. All right, Josh, your turn. That should get through. Yes, squeaker. Makes up for one of those uh, ground balls that squeaks through on the other side against us all the time. All right, Jaywalk, you've been struggling for the last seven games or so. Ooh, that might be out of here, though. Deep to right, back to the track. And he caught it. Wow. With his back to the plate, over the shoulder. Walker Jenkins with a hell of a catch. Look at this. Thought that was going to be down and off the wall on a run. He just threw his glove up. My goodness. Hit that well. And that's going to be a double to start the second inning. Starting both both innings with a double. All right. We got to get a better uh, game plan for this first batter each time. There's Mr. Jenkins with the great over-the-shoulder catch last inning to save a run. Stays at second. Whoa. 
Oh, this went. Grounded short. A few outs. He doesn't advance. Instant replay of the first inning. Ground ball the second in. We're out of the jam again. All right. We can stop giving up doubles to lead off the inning. At least he didn't throw a lot of pitches. One one. Hey, right, Nolan. Off the plate. Batten, how you doing? Welcome in. Haven't missed much. I've given up a leadoff double in each the first and second innings, and we stranded him at second base. Or, well, he got the third base second inning, but. Owen Gorman with a walk. The only thing you missed was uh, those two doubles, and Jordan Walker hit one. The right fielder, Walker Jenkins, had to go back and make an over-the-shoulder catch to save a run. How's everybody uh, doing on a Wednesday? Come on, way out in front. Utah, um, maybe over the weekend, maybe not till next week. See how I feel on Friday night, Saturday night. The uh, first season, we're probably going to do. We'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm either going to I'm either going to do the whole first half of the season, and start stop. Where's it here? Let's just do this. Um, I'm either going to take it to the all-star break and stop right before the draft so that the next episode would be the draft and the home run derby trade deadline and go. So do half a season for each, um, or, um, just do the whole thing in one shot. I don't know how long a long of a stream I want to do, but white Sox, no name. Yeah. Well, they're, they're really bad, so no big-name manager is going to want to go there during a complete rebuild. So they'll they'll get somebody else that will take them to the next level once they get these players more experience and get some better free agents to come in. All right, three and two. Newt Bar is on deck. Gorman walked. Royce is up here. Second bat of the inning. Naylor had a single up the middle in the first. And that's a double play. We're not going to do this double play shit again, are we? We had 18 double plays in six games. 18 total double plays in six games against the Dodgers. At least we got his pitch count over 20. Man, Cardinals have a lame duck manager too. Should have been fired after last year or this year. We're going through a little bit of a rebuild too, but we have some better young players than the White Sox do that are already at the majors. We just gotta, we just gotta fix them. Walker and Gorman, those guys. Yeah, down and got it. That's gonna be right at him. All right. Brandon Bossier. Ball. One ball. No Goldie. Yeah. Well, that's a chance when you let him go. It's a good hitter's ballpark to hit in. Really good backdrop. Two 
Uh, I don't know. They're they're talking to Sonny Gray, Nolan Arenado, and Wilson Contreras about they're gonna stay or they're gonna trade him. If it was up to me, I would trade them all away. I would put Gorman at third. I would put Sejaci at second. Win at short. Um, move Jordan Walker to first. You got Newt. You got I'd bring up Victor Scott. Let him play center. Donovan can play left. Um, Burleson can DH against righties. And Herrera and Pajes can catch. And bring up some of the... Uh, why did we get rid of Tommy? Because um, he had been injured all year, and they were trying to get some more, some more uh, prospects. It's not like he's 25, but he's a good player. He was just he didn't play all year, and um, you know sometimes you got to sell to deadline, and I had no problem with it. All right, finally had our first one, two, three inning. I think we should have traded Goldschmidt and Arenado both at the deadline. Gorman doesn't have the range to play second, so you can put him back at his original position third. He's got wind to his left, so wind can cover the hole. So JC's going to be an offensive dude, so... Just got a piece of that. Ah. Reached. Just a weak blooper. Offense needs to wake up here. Their pitching is nothing special. They do have power. But they were like ranked 23rd or some shit in the league um, as an overall team. So the only category they were top 10 in is power. And we were, we we're the best overall team in the majors. So like those one pitch ABs. Thank you very much. Pop that out to the pitcher. There we go. Way out in front. All right. You like that pitch? Here you go. How about this one? That was a quick inning. Like the low pitch count. All right. Come on, bats. Let's go. Our problem is we got to get rid of our uh, old expensive pitching. Just let some of the young guys come up and pitch. We're not going to be a playoff team. We need those guys up producing now. They're like in their mid-20s. They need to be at the majors. Oh, Naylor goes deep. Adios, pelota. Adios, pelota. Yeah, I, I saw it on uh, Twitter. What a fucking asshole. He should never be allowed in the stadium again. <clears throat> Him or his buddy. Bam! That was a bomb. 
All right. That's what we need. Wind is blowing out. Really need Walker to get going. Ah. Tried to pull. I was late. Right, two down. Yeah, I wouldn't refund his money. Why give him his money back? You did something wrong. You shouldn't get your money back. That was a rope right at him. Josh, he's still battling with uh, Nolan Gorman for playoff MVP. And that gives him a leg up for a World Series MVP right now. Should be 2 nothing, but this dude robbed Jordan Walker back in the first inning. There you go. Got him. So, Batten, I was looking at the A's roster and trying to figure out who I was keeping and who I was trading. I'm going to keep Rooker, and I'm going to keep Lawrence Butler. Going to keep Mason Miller. Um, they had two draft picks, Nick Kurtz and Tommy White. I moved Tommy to third because they had him listed at first. And I had to actually adjust their... They're uh, hitting because they had him way too low. I mean, fucking Kurtz crushed the minor leagues this year, so I had to push him up so he's almost MLU ready in the on the roster file. You know what sucks? Here, I'm I'm looking at the last roster that they put out, and it's got a, a bunch of the first round picks on there, and they have Jack Caglioni in there, and he is not a two way player. They only have him listed as a pitcher. And he's got great hitting stats, but they only have him listed as a pitcher, not a hitter. So I don't know if it's going to let me DH him. He should be first base and starting pitcher, but they they did not list him as a two-way player. Um, so that really sucks. Um, I had to... Uh, Knock Travis Bazana and Charlie Condon's stats up because they, they, they do not know how to rate prospects in this game at all. They're entirely too low. Entirely too low. Across the board. Especially the hitters. But I was going through trying to figure out, ah, left that change up right over the middle. That's not where it wants to be. Um, so Nick Senzel is out there. He's still relatively young. He's, he plays a ton of positions, and he absolutely kills lefties. So I'm probably going to go sign Senzel. Um, and that will give us a guy to platoon with Geloff, who sucks against lefties. Unless I trade Geloff, which is a possibility. Um, as soon as Kurtz is ready, I'll trade Noda. Um, they have a shortstop prospect and Jack, it's Jack Wilson's son, Jacob Wilson. Not sure I really like him. So I'm going to be aggressive trying to make some trades. Um, pitching, I'm going to trade away anybody that has a big salary. Gone. Um, I think I, I already did a couple of, uh, contract extensions. I think I extended Mason Miller and Rooker right off the rip. Cause I knew that was, I was going to do that anyway. I'm keeping them. So I might as well get that out of the way. Ah, fucking jammed again. Um, <clears throat> and then I got to decide which ballpark I'm going to use. So did you like the ballpark with the big brick thing in center? Or do you like the one that had the, the, the two or three rows of bleachers across with the uh, the trees and the monuments. Yeah. Fuck. Quit popping the ball up. Yeah, I'll show them to you again. Ah, that's three straight pop-ups. That's fucking terrible. 
What a horrible half inning or complete inning that was. Yeah, it's 42,000 feet, so it's not quite as high as Coors, but the ball will jump. So we're going to go after power hitters. If I have to play Rooker in left field, I will, but I'd rather DH him. Um, and I need to find a long-term solution in center. J.J. Blade will be okay for now. But... Oh, you should see. Wait till you see the scouts that I have for them. Holy shit. I have a guy that has like 94 discovery that's just going to discover players, right? And then I have two other scouts that have their efficiency in the mid to low 90s. And both hitters and pitchers are in the 90s for both of them. So we have two scouts that can both highly scout pitchers and hitters. So if we find a bunch of pitcher or a bunch of hitters, we can have them double scout. So what I could do, what I could do is forego scouting hitters for the first five weeks altogether. And I could scout two regions of pitchers at the same time. I can knock out the central and knock out the international at the same time in five weeks. And that would leave me nine weeks to scout hitters nine weeks to scout individual hitters with two different scouts so that might make a huge difference because then we can have I don't need a ton of pitching right because we'll get pitching every year so what I could do is uh just maybe go through the pit the file and see how many international starting pitchers and central starting pitchers are on there and if there's already close to 30 in one region or the other then we'll just discover pitchers in the other one and then we'll have about 60 pitchers to, to look at um and we can focus on getting hitters Because it's so easy to find pitchers. I'll show you. I didn't mind doing the White Sox. I really wanted to do Utah. So if it was a tie, I already said I was gonna I was gonna break the tie. God, 48 pitches. We had like a four pitch at an inning last time. Soft tosser, man. Just throw he threw me four straight changeups. There we go. Hung that curveball. Donnie, let's go. We need a line drive in a gap somewhere. I'll take that. Move the runner up. Two on, nobody out. Now the clutch kicks in for Trout. And these guys have terrible clutch on the pitching side. Except for their closer and for Pablo Lopez, everybody else has very marginal, very marginal clutch. Oh, that's going to be in the gap. That might be out of here. Off the wall. Stays in the park. It's going to mean an extra run. He would have had to stop at third if it hops over the board. Mike Trout gives us a 3-1 to one lead. Damn, that's triples alley if you have the speed. And he's out of the game. All right, knocked him out. Ryan McGregor.
Good strikeouts per nine, but his pitching clutch is only 32. So his hits per nine goes from 60 to 32. And Josh Naylor has 98 clutch. So we have 98 clutch against 32 clutch. So if I can get out of my own way here. Ah, tardy. We should be able to get another run here. Caught. He had a rope. All right, Jaywalk, your turn. Throw. Fastball, curveball, changeup, slurve. One hard pitch, everything else is soft. Mm. Jump on that fastball. Love me a high fastball. Is he going to get that one too? Yes. And Jenkins taking away hits from Walker tonight. All right, man on third. Gorman's clutch isn't quite as high as the other guys. But we'll take that line shot into right field, and it's 4-1. to one. There we go. That was a rope. Yeah. <laughs> Trout and Naylor and Gorman are all fighting for National League uh, playoff MVP, and they all have... Uh, Got their name on the board for World Series MVP now. Deep shot to center, and that's the uh, end of the sixth. So we got Ober out of there, got it into their bullpen. They do not have good clutch. And uh, got cut with the lead. Got him on the slider. Dan Patrick, back in the day. That slider is on today. How about a curveball this time? Ooh, just got a piece of it. High heat up and in. Come back with a changeup or a slider. Let's go changeup. Now slider. That's foul. Go high heat away. Didn't chase. Come back with the slider. Fastball up and in. Change up after that. Foul balls in this game are out of control. Jesus Christ. All right, you, your turn to rob him of a hit down in the corner. There we go. Ran my pitch count up. That's okay. It'll be the last inning for Cutliff anyway. And that's going to be foul. He swung? Come on. Ring him up. Fucking ridiculous. Let's go curveball. Back door. All right. He's through seven. He's done. 
He's done. Did his job. Come on, Newt. Eye of Newt. Ooh, hit it hard. Straight up in the air, though. Launch angle of 46 is never going to be a home run. Come on, Mason. You love lefties. We want to get something off speed from this dude. He gave it to us. Ooh, just missed. Wow. Painted. Wow. That was filthy. Top that one right to short. It's going to be three outs. Six outs to go, boys. Six outs to go. Says he's not tired. All right, let's go one batter at a time. All right, he's done. He's done. Now, pitching for the Cardinals, number 58. Of course, he can't reach that. Perfect ground ball for a double play. Can't reach it. Give me the ball. Oh, took a change up belt high right down the middle. <laughs> Boy, I hung that shit. That should have been a home run. He stood there and was frozen by that change up. <laughs> Ooh, just missed. Just missed. Of course it's going to get through. Four to two. We're not going to throw him out the plate. Got him. Julian's the uh, leading candidate for American League playoff MVP. So Eloy gets a run. A little weak grounder up the middle. Yeah, and he caught it. I'm going to bring in Victor Scott to play for uh, Nolan Gorman on the defensive side here after this half inning. Trout with a deep shot to right. He's already got a two-run double to that same spot in the park. And Walker Jenkins tracks down another one. That's three extra base hits he's tracked down today. Get 
Tripped over his head. That was a quick half inning. All right. Substitution. You go there. You become you. And you become you. And Duran's going to come in and face his old team. We traded for... No, we signed Duran as a free agent. We didn't trade for him. We signed him. Then we traded them, Jordan Romano and Valdez and somebody else, I can't remember, for uh, Royce Lewis. Royce was going into his arbitration years, and they didn't want to pay him. So we've taken him. All right. Kept him in the park. There we go. 100 miles an hour up and in. Put that curveball right in there. Get ahead in the count. Got him. Two down. We'll take it the same way. Splitter, curveball, high up and in fastball. Strike three, struck out the side. There we go. Gotta change my title on the stream. All right, scattered eight hits. They, they started the game with back-to-back -back doubles for their leadoff batter in the first and the second. We stranded them both times. Naylor with a home run. Mike Trout with a big two-run double. Gorman with an RBI. Look at that. Gorman has nine RBI. Trout and Naylor have ten. <laughs> Cutlip is 3-0. and Both relievers struck out the side. How about that? All right. All right, one down, three to go. <clears throat> now we get Alec Manoa. Gave him an extra day of rest, so Manoa. I should say Cutliff. Joe Ryan and Alec Manoa. Let me say that. Got our alternates, yes. And they're going to wear their gray. Clear skies tonight. Here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. One out of the way. Look at Manoa, 2-0 and in three starts with a 291.
the ball. Two. One and two. Ball high. Ooh, my. Got him. Speared that on the line. Thank you very much. Walner has got a lot of pop against righties, so we got to get him out. Not the location I was looking for, but I'll take the result. All right, Joe Ryan. Fastball, splitter, serve, and slider. So no changeup, but the splitter. Take a pitch once in a while. My God. You can tell I play too much uh, Diamond Dynasty against the CPU where they... Just throw meatballs down the middle. That's the ball down. Ball out. What's his speed? Low nineties. Ah. Yeah, this is this is the polar opposite of facing Bobby Miller's pumping 101, 102 the whole game. I'd rather face the guys that throw hard than these guys that just soft toss it up there because I can't stay back long enough to hit the ball. No. No. Through a walk. There we go. Come on, Josh. You know you want this. Yeah, I wasn't going to steal with him. At least not that pitch. it up son of a bitch last series it was all double plays in this series it's all pop-ups Once we get to about six o'clock or so, I'm gonna need to grab some food. So to take a second to go make a sandwich or two. I already had dinner with my wife before she went to work, so I'll be having a flipping flipping and having lunch late, dinner early. That in the park, thank you. There we go, Mason. No, ball. It's my son. 
always calls me when I'm streaming. <laughs> Tried to pull that and pulled my hands in and flipped it to the left field instead of right field. I'll take the hit though. That was a weird hit. All right, Royce. Just gonna try and get a double play, so we gotta go down and scoop this. Set our sights even lower. How's that? And then there's another double play. No, no, nope, no, sir. Come on, Newt. Three and one. There we go. Work that two out base runner, extend this inning. that pitch that was nasty all right made him throw some extra pitches so that's good we cannot put pitches over the plate for Brandon Lau we'll hit it way out of the park There, Mike. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Thank you. Ball, that's Fuck. Thank you. Runner does not move up. This is where our clutch for all of our pitchers dominates their clutch. If we can get a guy on second base, their hits per nine drastically drops. in the slider. I was going to walk him if I had to. Fucking meatball. 
Shitty ass contact on meatballs right down the middle, man. Get through. There we go. All right, Mikey, you were the hero last game. And that's another double play. Fuck. <laughs> Two sinkers and a changeup. You can't lay off that shit. That's all right. It's all right. Give me the fucking ball. Pitchers are dealing. They only have one hit. We only have two. not deep enough. Head over his head. Yep, that's going to be a double. One hop off the wall. There we go. Now the pitching clutch kicks in. One out. See if we can get a base hit, get that run home. Come on, Nolan. Come on, Nolan. You've been a dude in the playoffs. You were uh, less than your normal self during the regular season, but you've been on fire in the playoffs, man. Ugh. Stay back on the split. Sitting 359 in the playoffs. Tried to go with that and shoot it in the left field. Same thing there. That was just a late decision trying to foul the pitch off. Everything's been away. Tries to bust me in. He's going to go back away. Ooh, just got enough of that splitter to stay alive. Is that going to be out of here? Back to the track, to the wall. It's gone. Two run bomb. 
<laughs> Just keep fouling him off till he throw one over the middle. Bam. Back of the bullpen. Right in front of where my daughter and I used to sit. We used to sit right under those MLB the show signs underneath the scoreboard and that section closest to the big scoreboard. The one on the far left there that's just in the camera there, about halfway up, that's usually where we sat for her uh, straight-A student tickets. You hear some of the funniest shit out there with a bunch of drunk people in the bleachers, man. Oh! Rice gets revenge against his old team! Four forty three. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. That was a moonshot. My goodness. <laughs> he hung that and we hit it a mile. Yeah, that was out of here immediately. Look how high that ball is. Holy shit. Three quarters of the way up the bleachers. That's a that's a poke. <laughs> that is a poke. And that's gonna be a gappa. Right beyond those bleachers, there's a, a street that runs parallel to the second and third. Man, I'm getting hungry already. I had a uh, homemade pot pie for, what time was that? Around 2, 1.32. Oh, jammed. All right. Back-to-back -back homers gives us 3 nothing lead. Man on second, two down. Hank the Stank is up. Just trying to shoot that through that hole over there, right field. Maybe sneak it down into the corner. Nope, popped it up on the infield. Hey, that was a good half inning. There we go. Bam. And a bigger bam. Easy ground to the third. Thank you very much. One down. Oh, really? That was fair? Doesn't get a double if that hits the sidewall. Stab and a throw. Got him. I had to actually dive to make that because the CPU was going to let that ball get by me. So he hits a 443-foot bomb, and then he makes this great diving play to get Correa out at first. Keep it a 3 nothing lead. And go change up away. Come back with a high fastball. Up and in. Up and away. Change up, down, and in. I'm sorry, slider down and in. Lewis gets to that one, and eh. 
Get you around the hit. Back to the top of the order. Ball, that's up. Yeah. Early on the swing. Tried to hold up and swing it again. Kind of flinched and then pushed it afterwards. Oh my god, Donovan hits a home run. Stay fair. Holy shit. <laughs> Home run derby tonight, boys. Tried to golf it. Should have took it. Send me a strike either way. I jammed myself. Late swing. Pulled the PCI inside. Never a good combination. All right, Josh. You're over two. You're kind of due. And that's going to be just foul. It's eight feet. Look closer than that. He's gonna track that down. That's Buxton out there. He's got the Oh he missed it! Holy shit! He just ran right past it. My god. Wow. That should be an error. <laughs> he just whiffed it. Cantorino. Eight ERA. That's not good. Now Walker's clutch kicks in. This guy's kind of uh, sidearm down there. Fastball slider curve change. Definitely looking on the inner, inner, inner half. Ah. Be more patient than that. It's a new pitcher. All right, two outs. What's this guy's clutch? Fifty-one. All right, Nolan, your turn. That's going to be another gapper. He might get the MVP. He's going to hold it first because Buxton's got wheels. But that's three, two hits and three ribs. Oh, that might be in the gap. Yep, that's going to go all the way to the wall too. One hop off the wall, lets him score instead of making him stop. It is six, nothing. The floodgates have opened. Let's fucking go. And it's gonna be seven to nothing. Newt went up and shot that line drive into center field. We are not afraid of these pitchers. Nice pitch. One and one. Killing me in the same damn spot. Get it up a little bit. Tack on runs mean the world, man. Locked him up. That's 
Oh, I dove over the ball. I think he would have got it if I didn't dive. That's okay. Thank you very much. First pitch out through six. Our pitching has been phenomenal in the playoffs. Absolutely top notch. Base hit down the line. Hit parade continues. Hank the Stank gets in there. Yeah, that's our 12th hit. Donovan with the uh, shocking home run last time. Does have 62 power, but still not expecting that. I will tell you, if they have their contact is like, if they have high contact and high vision, but mediocre power, they will hit bombs. It's when they have high power and low vision and contact that you really struggle to hit home runs with them. You can get away with the other. And there's a double play. All right, Trout, you're over. And you're still going to be over because I pulled the PCI. All right, through six. Moose is making all the plays in this series. Another. <laughs> My goodness. Last series, it was all Naylor and Gorman. Everything was hit the first or second. And this one, everything is going to be hit the third base. That was quick. That was very quick. That's the ball. Reached out and rolled it over. Looks like it's just uh, me and Jimmy and Specta in here today. At least now. We had, we had several people in here earlier and they, they decided to uh, boogie, but two of the pimps in here. And that new football game sucked the joy out of the NWO broadcasts, man. Because you never know when these fucking games are going to lock up mid-game, eh? Gorman, three for three. Single, home run, single. And another single. He is the uh, early favorite for World Series MVP, boys. Yeah. Don't care. Just want to get this game over so we can move on to game three because this one's almost in the bank. One. 
Jump throw from Win. Easy. One down. And this dude's sinker is awesome. He swung. Bring him up. Oh, come on. Pay attention, dude. You have one job. We'll take him out. He's tired. Let's bring in Yuki. Now for the Number 11, Yuki. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Walner does not hit lefties well at all. I should have pinched it for him. out. Good job. Way to go, Gorman. Cover some ground. All right, Lars, two for two with a walk. And just missed the line. Jesus. And Jenkins going to track that one down. You down. Hank the Stank got his single last time. Yeah, chasing shit. Gonna track that down. That should be a double. There we go. Buxton's Buxton speed couldn't quite get to that one. And new pitcher. Aaron Bummer. What a name for a relief pitcher. What a bummer. He's gonna catch that in. Nope. Off the screen. Thank goodness for the screen. That'll end it. All right. Going to the ninth. Right. 
Sliced and diced. Nolan Gorman flashing the jump throw. Wow. Everybody wants to do a jump throw today. Newt's going to get to it, and that's a winner. And that's a winner! That's a winner! Just like we did with the Dodgers. Win the first two at home. <clears throat> Pitching dominates again. Gave up two runs in those first two games at home. Nolan Gorman going deep. Only five hits allowed, two walks. Hit three home runs, five doubles. All right, off to Minnesota and the god-awful hitters batter's eye in that ballpark in this game. All right, Lopez and Painter. Let's save. Hey, if we win this, we could clinch on Halloween. How fun would that be? Jordan Ambalazovic. It's going to pitch game four. Not. Ooh, they're not going to throw Fromber at us. Okay. You would think they would throw a lefty against us, but they're not going to. All right. Andrew Painter trying to give us a 3-0 lead. Why, why would they wear their road? They're going to wear their home. And we'll wear those. All right. Be ready for some uh, stun off the batter's eye. Oh, it's dark. It's completely dark. All right. So we don't have to worry about it. Man. In the middle of the season, June, July, August, it's fucking horrible, even on night games, but especially the day games. That ivy in center field, you get a glare off of that. What happened? Okay. There he is, Pablo. Too bad the Cardinals couldn't trade for him. Should be a little bit easier now since it's total night and we can see what we're doing. There's a rocket in the left. Hangs up and gets caught. There we go, Mikey, base hit. Gotta like that. Gotta like that. Thank you. 
Mm, did he get enough of that? Is that going to be track to the track to the wall? Gone! Snuck it over! Josh Naylor! Just got enough. Hit that ball too high. I thought it was going to bounce off the wall. It's like the wind is blowing out to right too, so you got a little help there. And I have not pulled a ball with him in ages. Wow, I didn't think he hit that well enough to hit it out. Nolan Gorman, six playoff homers. Two in the World Series ties Naylor for home runs in the series. I didn't think he had enough. I mean, he kind of felt like it fisted me. Just snuck over. All right, well, two homers and three uh, runs in the first inning is a great start. Oh, you get the shit out of that one, too. It's going to get caught. All right. Well, Pablo was a guy I was worried about. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Bam. Andrew Painter, former Rookie of the Year. Little floater way out in front. Carved him up. My goodness. Second curve foul. Yep. Second, out of the first, out of the first. Here's up, a little chilly. Jimmy inspected. We're in the middle of that uh, Midwest where it's 75, 80 during the day, and then it gets in the 40s at night. You don't know whether to wear a hoodie or a t-shirt. change this I forgot to change the uh, title we're in game three right now we can just take this one
There we go. Draw a walk. There we go. Flip that down in the corner. I don't know if Newt Bar can score or not. Nope. We'll hold him up. There we go. They're in trouble again. Second and third. Nobody out. Hank the stank. Ground ball to the right side of the infield would be awesome. Staying alive. The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees swing. Staying alive. There we go. I just ran myself into a double play. It hits that ball to second. It's a run. All right, Donnie, your turn. Hardy on a fastball down the middle. That's not good. Damn, I am so hungry. That'll get a run home. I know it's shallow. He's got a good arm. And he got him. Hey, had to make him make the throw. Not even close. One ball. No strike. And it's going to bleed through, of course. Got him. He's out. Davis has a cannon. Trout with a moon shot. Second deck above the bullpen. How far was that? 445. He said, get that shit out of here. What a blast. Matching Royce Lewis's 445 last game at home. <laughs> you don't see too many of them in the seats above the bullpen. Damn, that was just off his bat like a moonshot. Look at this. Look how high that was. That was light tower high and into the seats above the ribbon. <laughs> yeah, I think he got all that one.
And this is their best pitcher. Naylor's too slow to beat that out. Yep, All right, Jordan. Yep. All right, here's Gorman. Wall scraper, home run to left center, right where that 377 sign is last day at bat. He and Naylor are trying to see who's going to hit the most home runs in the World Series. Got it. Hit it straight up in the air, though. All right. Mike Trout adds on. It's an absolute blast. Boom. Ooh, wanted to go, almost got the call. One short stop to the other, one out. That'll be off the wall. All right, keep him at third base. Oh, come on, he's right there. How did he miss that ball? It's like right at him. He's not where I wanted that ball. I'll take the third out though. Ball was right at Lewis. How did he miss the ball? It's a fucking gold glove third baseman. You see he's Got a gold badge, is what I mean. Thought he hit that better than he did. He's a laser right at him. All right, Mason. One ball. No
Got up. Low heat. Down and away. I like that one pitch out. Kind of hung that curveball, and that's out of here. Hit that hard, but it's going to be caught on the warning track or shy of it. Ooh, Donnie, that might be out of here. Yes, it is. Adios, Pelota. That was a line drive rocket. Look at that. That's a missile. Didn't get very high. Out in a hurry. All right, that makes up for Buxton's home run. And Trout's going to send this one off the wall in right center field for another extra base hit. There we go. Homer in a double. He is loving the playoffs. That's right. Flex, man. And in comes the soft tossing lefty. And Naylor's going to hit a rope to right. Man, we're just hammering the show the ball. This half inning. That should get down for an extra base hit, too. There we go, Walker. Finally get you in on the fun. Back up to a four-run lead. Our bats will not settle down at all. All right, Gorman. And there's an RBI hit. Yeah. He keeps this up for one more game. He's World Series MVP, boys and girls.
Donovan's going to get over in left center and get that pretty easily. Backdoor curve just missed. Come on, Blue. Four, six. Too many steps into right field or you got the double play. Almost got it, though. That's at least a double. Nope. That's a big old boom. <laughs> we we broke out the home run bats this game. Boys and girls, that's four. That's down into the corner. Might be hit too hard to get a double. Nope, we got it. We got it. Good turn by Mason. Tank the stank. You're the only one, I think, without a hit. Not anymore. Back-to-back -back extra base hits. Man, we have just been crushing these guys. New pitcher. This guy just threw like 50 pitches last game. We're getting some uh, 1987 hatred out of our system here. It's only the first out. Mikey's three for three. Might be four for four. Nope, he's going to catch it. All right. More and more attack on runs. Got to love it. We are only in the sixth. Up against the wall. Redneck mother. Hey. 
right there, Mikey. There we go. Up next to Minnesota, the captain. Mars is not getting there. There we go. Nine else to go. See how bright that green is right here? That green, even in, at night, how bright it is. You play during the day with the sunshine going directly on it, it is damn near impossible to see. So anytime the home run derby is in target field, you need to move it somewhere else because you won't be able to see shit. Bidding for another extra base hit. Man, he's on fire right now. <clears throat> Royce doesn't have a hit. Wow, what a pitch. That was almost like a knuckle, a low knuckleball. That was just way out in front. Timing was <laughs> I was six years in front of that pitch. Lars with an absolute laser home run last time. All right. Let's get these last nine outs. Pound that in the ground, wind grabs, throws, two down. There we go. This dude walked last time. Ninth place hitter. I'm just going to throw it down the middle and make him get himself out. <clears throat> Josh Stalmont. Been pitching great in the playoffs. Should have brought him in earlier. Good contact. A little elevated in the uh, angle. All right, Hank. But you're glad we traded with the pirates to get you. It's all right. I don't care. We're up seven runs. Just need to get outs on both sides. Get this game over with and move on to game four.
Donnie's one hit was a home run too. Six outs to go. This will be his last inning. I'm going to bring in uh, Mason Miller after him. <clears throat> Whether it's in this inning or the next. Looks like our our World Series was against the Dodgers last because we swept the Phillies in three. Knocking on the door, sweeping the Twins in the series, and we had to go six against the Dodgers. So our hardest series was last round. All right, three outs away from a 3 nothing lead, boys and girls. Three outs away. Mikey, three for four. Make that four for five. And hold him up. from again. Try to stay back and flip the left and lift. All right, here's Nolan. New cutter worked just like a changeup. No. Totally flinched. Come on, see the strikes. down a 
It's a tight spot. Look at the title of the uh, stream. That'll tell you. It's about to be 3 nothing. We have been, we've hit four home runs this game. We have just been crushing them the entire series. Got him. And that's a winner. That's a winner. All right, look at that. We had five doubles and five homers. Newt, Gorman, Trout, Naylor, Donovan with home runs. Painter pitched great. We just pounded Pablo. All right, it won't show me their stuff for this round, so I'm going to go through the box scores and check what these guys are doing. All right, so game one, Trout goes one for four. Gorman goes one for two. So Trout is one for seven. Gorman goes four for four with a home run and three ribs. And then Trout goes five, four for five, but Gorman goes two for five with another home run. So it's between Naylor's trail off. So it's going to be between Trout and Nolan Gorman for World Series MVP. Let's see what the uh, awards say. It's not going to give it to me. So Gorman is definitely going to get it for the playoffs. And it's between these two for the World Series. And I want to say Gorman should have it because of uh it's got more rbi so Let's see if we can clinch on halloween tanner vibe jordan Balo blazovic balazovic however he says his name They're going to win their Twin Cities. All right. All right. Here's the question. Do we want to try and clinch in our grays or do we want to go with the baby blues? Gray or baby blue? Because we've been steamrolling with just our normal uniforms. So kind of leaning towards just sticking with our normals. But you want me to go baby blue? We can go baby blue. If we lose, though, tight spot, it's your fault for picking the wrong uniform, though, okay? <laughs> it's going to be all your fault. We're going to blame you for it. Look at all the guys in their lineup that are cold. If we lose this game, we'll go back to gray for the next one. All right, this is for the sweep. Not something you uh, normally see. We 
Wish I had that camera angle to put behind on the thumbnail, but that's okay. So they're gonna try and use these uh, alternates to change the tide. What's he got? Fastball slider change. Pretty basic. Oh, and Donnie's going to hit one deep to left. It's going to be at least off the wall. Yes, one hop. There he is, starting the game like we did the last one, just hammering pitches. And he's uh, cold, if you saw the lineup. Ooh, Trout just missed that. That should get Donovan to third, though. All right, here's Naylor trying to get the first run of the game in. That'll do it. Double, moved him up on a fly ball, drive him in on a sack fly. Put him on their heels early. We only had three pitches. We had a double, a fly out, and a sack fly. No. There we go. Walker's warming up. Batten. Look at the title. Look at the title. We hit five home runs last game off Pablo Lopez. We started the game. Get through, get through with a double, a fly ball to right that moved him third, and then a sack fly to center, and then Walker singled and Gorman singled. He's only thrown seven pitches, and he has two outs, two men on, and one run in. <laughs> he's he's like right over the middle of the plate, man. Let's see what is he? Yeah, sixty-two hits per nine. That's not going to work for this game. Come on, Royce. He did not have a hit last game. Like the only one who didn't have a hit. And Trout's home run, when we go back to the screen, look above the bullpen in, in left center field, and there's a ribbon right in front of some seats, and he hit it above the ribbon in the back of that little seat section. When I hit unpause, yeah, right over there. He hit it up there by where it says Twins. That's where Trout hit it, 445. Buxton's going to get to that. All right. Tanner had a rough game against the Dodgers. He pitched well against the Phillies, but not against the Dalliers. Gorman and Trout are battling for uh, World Series MVP, and right now Gorman leads. And Gorman's almost a shoe-in for the playoff MVP, so he might he might get both. for another slider. All right, pretty simple first. Let's go. Pitching this guy instead of Framber Valdez. 
I think Fromber won like 16 games in the year, and he's not going to pitch in the series. Come on. Get it over here. A little more over here. Out over the plate. You know you want to. Good contact. Lazy fly ball. All right, Mason. Mm, jammed. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Well, that's off the plate. Come on. Come on. Getting impatient because he's not throwing pitches that I can hit. Two ball, two strikes. Should be three and one. I am so hungry. Tell you what, though, we win it in this game. I'll go get something to eat. What sounds good right now is a fucking pizza. Like, not that I like Domino's. Maybe Papa John's pizza sounds great. All right, Hank. Let's go, man. Not going to score because he had to wait to see if Buxton was going to make a miracle catch. We'll take that. Donnie doubled his first at bat. That was a rope to left field. Oh, way over that changeup. Nope. Some short backstop. There's a rocket into the corner, and that's going to score two. He's going to have two doubles in two innings. All right, Mikey. Ball one, no Wouldn't that be crazy if he wins World Series MVP? We trade for him to try and get him a World Series ring. Oh, and that's going to be out of here, folks. That's going to be a home run. Boom. <laughs> Adios, Pelota. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Revenge for 1987. Kiss my No drama like we have at the Doyers. Thought they were going to come back and. One ball, yeah. Two that was a hammer shot. The only regret I have is we didn't trade for Trout earlier. 
And he's going to flip that into the gap, and it's going to be a single because he's slow. If I'd have known it was going to be this much fun, I'd trade for Trout the first year. Fuck it. Why is this guy still in the game? He's gotten four outs and he's given up five runs on seven hits. And there's a walk in there too. Oh, he threw it away. And he's going to go to third. Wow. Total implosion by the Twins. Total implosion. And guess who's up? Nolan Gorman against this soft tossing lefty. Let's see if we can do some damage here. Oh, that might be. It's going to be a sack fly at least. All right. That'll offset one of the runs that Trout drove in. Those two are seriously battling for a World Series MVP. Ball one. Ball right Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's off the wall or out. It's gone. Royce Lewis against his old team. <laughs> ah, I don't give one fuck, man. Let's run this shit up. This is like throwing when you're up by three scores in the NFL. Fuck him. Play defense. That error let in uh, those last two. It's okay. It's eight nothing. Get all excited for one hit. All right. 21 outs to go. Oh, we're just this feels like I'm playing Diamond Dynasty against rookie on uh, on rookie against the Rockies. We're just we are just hammering. It, that's what it feels like. This feels like me playing the CPU on rookie at Coors. Oh, that might be out of here too. <laughs> Adios, Pelota. 
Turn out the lights, the party's over. Got the parade all ready to go right down Market Street, downtown St. Louis. Man, we're making Buxton get his steps in today. Holy shit. And that's his third hit in three innings. Two doubles and a single. <clears throat> Guess who's up? Mikey Trout. Ooh. I do not know how I missed that. Looks like I pulled the PCI way down. Couldn't quite get on top of that one. All right. Two outs. Mr. Naylor has had a quiet World Series. Hit a two-run homer in game one and has been kind of quiet after that. Yep, rolled over because I reached for a ball way out of the zone. All right. At this point, we need outs on both sides. So at least the third time he's grounded out to win in this series. The big bender for the strike three. Got him. Six down. No, nine down. Sorry, nine down. Swung under it. Hit him. Got a little bit too much break on there. All right, Nolan. Don't swing at that shit. Looks like mud at home plate, so dark. <laughs> That's going to be out.
Absolute rocket right at him. All right, Royce hit a home run earlier. That's going to be a double. And another RBI. Double digits, 10 nothing, boys and girls. We are about to partake. Get that in there. You can see the bottle right there. Ready to uh, open that bad boy up. There's another RBI. Keep running it up. You've seen this guy in every single game. We're only in a fourth inning, guys. We still have five more innings to bat. Oh, my gosh. Home run distance, but way early. Swing into swing. Uh-oh. Nope, not deep enough. Thought he hit it much better than he did. All right. Slicing and dicing today. Come on. Let's go. That's a home run. We've kept him pretty well in check the whole series. Hit it out on the street out there. That's okay. 11 to 1. We can give him one. Here's Donovan. Three hits already. He had three hits in the first three innings. Oh, absolutely shattered the bat. More speed and he beats that out. All right, Mr. Trout. Hit him. I guess they uh, are tired of him. <laughs> they don't want him to bat. Okay. Trout's going to go to third on that. <clears throat> yeah. 
Ah, got to pull my hands in and get that. Wow. I, I hit a advance to try and get Naylor to finish going to second base and send Trout, and then Naylor just keeps on going and goes all the way to all the way to third. That was all right, Nolan. Here you go. We need some extra runs from you. Ah fuck me. Be patient, man. Get one you can absolutely cram. All right, Royce. Is that going to drop? Yes, it is. 13 run pool. This is for a sweep, guys. This is all for a sweep. Newt. Uh-oh, that might be a three-run bomb. At least off the wall. Bam! Second deck. Oh, fucking chat. Chat's pissing me off. <laughs> Jerry, I'm telling you, I have this power. And I have no control over it. Look how high that ball was. 16 to 1 in game 4. I think we're getting a sweep, boys. Never swept a uh, series until this year. We swept the Phillies in the DS. And now we're going to sweep the Twins in the World Series. Now we just need to get outs. Now it comes down to who's the MVP of the World Series, Trout or Gorman? I think Gorman needs another big hit to seal it. That's why I was so mad when I popped it up with him. All right. I need to get this game over so I can do my double shot. And Batten, if you're still in here when the game's over, um, celebrate. Then I'll go back and we'll look at the two ballparks. The second one is not completely done yet. Um, and we can uh, take a look at the, the roster and I'll show you those scouts because we have just two absolute fire scouts. So, as soon as we can get these last outs out of here. They're doing us a favor of swinging early and often, and they want to go home too. Just going to fastball, slider, and work off of that. Yeah, we should have won last year. We kind of got hosed by the game. All right. We have 12 outs to go. Can we score 20? That's our goal. If we score 20, I'll do two double shots. And I've had very minimal shit to eat, so I'll be fucking lit the rest of the night, that's for sure. Oh, that was a good curveball. Swung way under it. All right. Yeah, at this point, we just we just need to get through these last four innings. All right, here's Trout. Trout and Gorman battling for that MVP. 
Machado homered right up there. It's first time. Second time. Right above the play ball sign, but way up into those seats, right? If you look at the outside curved edge, right over there. Trying to shoot that to right. All right, let's go. Fastball slider. Figure it out from there. I'm in a groove with Bybee right now. He's got such an easy motion to time and everything. I'm going to throw the same fastball up, slider in. Fastball up and in. Oh, you got a hold of that one. There we go. Needed that. Two outs. Let's see if we can strand this dude on third. Nope. Nope. Hung that curve ball, and Julian gets his second of the game. Gotta make a mound visit here. All right. Out of the inning and he's done. We'll work on three different relievers to finish this game off. Wow, just enough. Very definition of a wall scraper that hit the top of the wall and went over. Adios, Pelota! Bummer, bummer days. So we still have nine outs to score three runs. You know whose favorite team we're playing? Mr. Hurricane. Oh, my. Three. That was filthy. That's right. I know, Jordan. I feel sorry for you.
He's in his fifth season with the Cardinals franchise too, and he hasn't even made it to the World Series. Certainly doesn't have five division titles in a row. Totally misused Mason Wynn. Usually don't like to rip on content creators, but he was messing with my team and doing it wrong. This guy can't throw strikes. All right, Lars went deep last time. All right, Mason. Got the lefty up here. They homered earlier. Got two in you. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Nailer with a wall scraper. We're going to the pen. Gotta love the one pitch out. Splitter. Perfectly placed for a great pitch and get penalized. Lucky that stayed in the park. All right, we have six outs to go. Six more outs. Now pitching for the win. Steve Ukert. Steve Ukert. Stouts. The uh, Steve announcer said his name. It sounds like he said, Steven Yogurt. <laughs> Hammered into the ground. All right, Donnie. We're just hacking. We want to get this game over with. There's no way we're giving up 13 runs. Not with me pitching. I don't think I've ever given up 13 runs in a game. Oh, 
just want outs. That was me trying to get that at bat over with. Not where I wanted that pitch, but I'll take the out. What a swing. <laughs> Shit almost hit him and he swung at it. for Julian. There we go. I'm bring Tink in, make sure he gets an appearance in the World Series here. All right, three outs away. All right, this at bat by Nolan Gorman might decide the MVP of the World Series. Wow, totally robbed. All right, we got three outs on defense and we'll have our 12th World Series title. And we're gonna bring in their old closer. 
53.8% strikeout rate. Two outs to go. One out to go. <laughs> Let's go. Carlos Correa. Let's strike him out. Curveball. High heat up and in for the win right here. Out of play. Of course. There it is, World Series champions. And that's a winner, that's a winner. A sweep, a sweep. All right, box score, 18 hits and 17 runs. Look at that, Royce, four RBI, Newt, four RBI. Everybody but Davis drove in a run. <laughs> and, drum roll. World Series MVP, playoff MVP. Nolan Gorman hit 533 with two home runs and seven RBI in the World Series and hit 404 with six and 14 in the playoffs. A sweep. We lost two games the entire playoffs. All right. Here's our world championship shot, double shot of tequila. <laughs> and we clinched on Halloween. All right. So, Batten, here you go. 
We'll look at the two uh, stadiums. The first one is done. The second one is not quite done. Uh, just a little bit more to do. <clears throat> Here's one I made. Windy City Stadium. We could actually use that for the White Sox if we wanted to. I made this one in Charlotte. <coughs> That's Tampa. Here's the Royals. Here's the... This is the treehouse park I use when I want to play <coughs> um, against the computer in Diamond Dynasty. <laughs> and then the fan ripping the ball out. Not in this one, man. Not in this one. They might. They should rip it out of the starting pitcher's hand, man. <laughs> uh, this is Music City. This is the one I made when I was going to do the uh, Nashville Blues. Brickyard is just one that I made. Dinger Park is basically the Nashville Stadium, but it's at altitude, so you can smash home runs against the computer. This is my last iteration of the Treehouse Park for the A's. And these two are made by Gopper Gaming. Vault Tech, I don't know who made this one. This is this is a futuristic one that I thought about using for the Avengers, but I decided against it. And then this was the, the White Sox Park we were going to use if we did the White Sox. But since we're doing... Moving Oakland to Utah. This is the first park that I made. How you doing, Biggin? You still trying to play that uh, NCAA game that drives people to drink? All right, so this is the overview upshot of this one. It's got that big batter's eye that's all brick. We added brick around it to complement um this would be a bullpen if we didn't have them already here so we just made it a kids play area and picnic uh, tables and shit and then we've got one two three decks <clears throat> concessions little walkway to get up out of the bleachers walkway up here out of the bleachers and this is like luxury boxes with a party deck up on top this would be another bullpen, like I said, if we didn't have them over here. And then down here we have, you have to pretend that there's netting in front of these guys. But we have some like standing room only area down here with ribbon on both sides. Triple deck. I didn't put a roof on it. I could probably put a roof on it. But that's what that one looks like. So that's the first one that I made. <clears throat> Holds 53,000. And this is the second one that I did. I redid the outfield part. Like I said, it's not 100% done. Changed the batter's eye. And we got a picnic area over here. And then we've got some monuments and trees. Big old brick wall. And we got some bleachers coming across here. They extend all the way out to center field. Got a big old couple of buildings merged in here. We got people sitting up here to watch the game. We also have people up here in this green space to watch the game. That's their view. We got quadruple deck here behind home plate. Like I said, I need to put some stuff over here on both sides. Need to decorate there. And even in here, we could get some more uh, luxury boxes in there. But it's a triple decker. Um, just a little grass area with the flag there. Big scoreboard in center field. Um, but that's that one. So I don't know which one you like. You like this one or you like the other one. Um, but like I said, I got to finish. I'm going to do some stuff out here. I might actually pull those lights down a little bit lower. Um, and this is what it looks like at night. Yeah. It's the same basic park. I just changed the outfield. You know, like like from from here... Here around is pretty much the same, but then I changed it over here. 
So anyway, that's my big decision is which ballpark to put them in. Um, and uh, let me show you here. If you want, here, I'll, I'll play a home run derby real quick in each ballpark. And you can kind of see what it looks like while we're batting. And then I'll go into the the uh, actual save game file that has the rosters and everything. And I'll show you those. Um, I'll show you those uh, scouts that I have. Play offline, two players. We're going to go Griffey and Maguire. We'll do a home run derby in both parks real quick. Real quick. I just want to show you what it looks like in game <clears throat> and see. All right, so this is the first one. Let's knock this down to one minute so it doesn't take as long. Because I don't care about the home run derby. I just want to show you what it looks like while you're batting. Man, we're only at three hours. We got the whole World Series done in less than three hours. So you can kind of see how it looks here from ground level. Trying to hit it in that party deck. Me a fucking strike, dude. See, I can reach the second deck in right field. You can't reach the third. So that's what the park looks like in game. So um, let's go back in and pick the other one. Come on, load. Jesus. Man, I did not expect to sweep the World Series. I thought it was going to be much tougher. I mean, that Dodger Series was the World Series, so... This one has a little bit lower profile to the outfield on the left side, not on the right. Finishes with 
a total of nine home runs. And he will have to wait to see if that holds up. Yes, sir. That one is gone. 30. Only a strike, dude. Anyway, all right, so you got to see both ballparks. If I was choosing right at this moment, I'd probably pick the first one, but I don't care. I still have work to do on the other one, so. All right, so this is what I did on here. Did some moving guys up and down. But I re-signed Lawrence Butler to a two-year, $2.34 million contract. Signed Mason Miller two years at 2.34. And re-signed Rooker to a three-year, 9.74. So we re-signed all those guys. So I don't have to deal with them at the end of the season. The budget on this team is like $113 million is what I have to spend. So I got 53 million spent. I got 60 million available and we're going to trade Stripling away. We're going to trade Wood away. We're going to trade Brown away. We're going to trade Alexander, Andujar, Gott, Toro. All those guys at the top that are making over 750K, they're all getting traded at some point during the year, during the season or at the trade deadline, they're all going away. But even the guys we signed, look, Miller, he's not even making a million bucks. And neither is Butler. And Rooker is going to jump to $3 million. So we're going to have so much money to play with next year. We're probably going to have $80 million to play with if we want to go sign guys or trade for guys that are make. But all these guys making over a million dollars, they're all getting traded away. They're all going bye-bye. So this is our staff. This guy's 28. Um, Estes isn't bad. Sears actually plays pretty good. Spence is a B, so we want to keep him around. Wood's going away. Boyle's walks per nine sucks. Stripling's going away. Junk is basically junk. Uh, none of these guys down here are worth a shit. Even Wallachuk, Medina, they're all going away. All these guys at the bottom are going to get replaced by draft picks. They're all getting replaced. Uh, we could trade Jackson away. He's going into arbitration. And um, his uh, walks per nine suck. So we're going to have to build a bullpen. We need help, a lot of help in the bullpen. Uh, we got our closer set for a while. Langoliers, we've played with him before. He's great power. His average is not going to be great. McCann has better average and clutch against righties. Um, Noda and Soderstrom. Soderstrom can catch as well, but he's not great. Um, Nick Kurtz, I thought I, I thought I fixed him. I guess I didn't save that. I thought I saved it. I, I, I moved Nick Kurtz. So he's almost a 70 because they're severely discounting. The dude hit three, some 350 or some shit in the minors after he hit ungodly in the, in the, uh, in college. So I need to fix it. I thought I saved it, but apparently not. And I thought I moved Tommy white to third base and adjusted him. His defense isn't going to be great, but I thought I'd fix that. So Geloff isn't great. He does better against righties and lefties, so he has reverse splits. I wouldn't care if we traded him off. Toro, he's just a body. None of these guys are really a long-term solution. Um, I think Davidson should be at second or third, not at short. Hold on a second. I thought I saved this. I did save this. Wow, for some reason didn't take. Hmm, okay. So Rooker's defense is garbage, so we really want him to DH. Ruiz 
kills against lefties. He has great clutch and great speed. So we've dealt with him before with, with Oakland. These two guys are going away. Um, Blade is serviceable. He's got some pop. Butler is definitely our long-term solution in Rayfield. This guy, he's got good contact. He's got good vision. Doesn't have great clutch. So he's a top-of-the-order guy, but he only hits... Only has 64 speed, so he's he's like a number two hitter or number nine hitter. We don't we don't want him hitting leadoff because he doesn't have the speed. We don't want him in the middle of the lineup because he doesn't have power and he doesn't have clutch. Um, Hernandez hits better against lefties. He's got more speeds. So I don't know. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of these guys. All right, so look, we have 94 Discovery right here. If you learn, I won already, FGA, we swept. We we scored 17 runs in game four, dude. Go back and watch the VOD. We were fucking mashing from day one. Sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize, but it just got home. Well, you can watch the VOD then. Put it on double speed because, you know, you can, you can watch it in half the time. It'll only take you an hour and a half. Um, Nolan Gorman was a fucking beast. Let me say that. I did a double shot already. Yes, I did. You missed everything. You missed everything. See, I planned. I came on at 3.30 because I thought this is going to be a five-hour stream, right? Five hours. No, we were done in three. Three. Three hours. We played four games in three hours, and we scored 17 runs in the fourth game. <laughs> So definitely go back and watch the VOD. Definitely. You can do it while you're doing whatever in the background, but yeah. But look at this. We have a 94 discovery guy, and then we have this guy that has 95 efficiency, 97 pitchers, 91 hitters. And this guy's 97 efficiency with 93 pitchers and 93 position players. So we have two scouts that can do both hitters and pitchers really, really well. So our drafts are going to be lit because we can double up on pitchers or we can double up on position players. FG, this is what we're going to do. We're going to move the A's to Utah, change them to the Utah Avengers, and I have to pick one of the two parks that I've made. Um, and we're going to trade anybody with salary away. And I'm going to try and make trades and get guys that we don't haven't already had with Oakland before. I'm going to keep Rooker. I'm going to keep Butler. I'm going to keep Mason Miller. And the rest of the guys are all up for uh, for trade, whatever. But I, I want to try to fix this roster and get guys on there that I like, right? But not use players we've already used. Like, I don't want to trade for Jordan Walker or Gorman or any of the Car Cardinal players. Um, so Cardinals are off limits. I don't want to trade with them. We just, we just watched it. And this is the last salary file that... Salary file. <laughs> I'm talking fantasy sports where I used to work. This is the last roster file that they put out. I know they're going to put another one out next week, but this is the last one they put out. So it's not the same as what we've been doing with the Cardinals all year. So guys are kind of off from what you're used to seeing. So, um, and there are draft picks in there. FG. These dumbasses at San Diego. Jack Caglione is a two-way player, right? He, he was a pitcher and a first baseman at Florida. And he's a masher and he can throw high heat, right? They made him a pitcher. He's not a double play. He's not a he's not a, a two-way player. He's not a two-way player. Even though his hitting is off the charts, they made him just a pitcher. What the fuck is that? They have the ability to make the dude, to, and I can't edit and make him a two-way player. Please hire me to do your minor leagues. Please, I beg you. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. And they stole someone from the, the roster thing that used, they used to make outside of San Diego. And and these guys don't know how to make prospects at all. At all. They don't progress fast enough. They're not rated high enough to jump in. It, it's a fucking nightmare. But anyway, we have two great pitchers that can do pitchers and hitters. Two great scouts that can do pitchers and hitters. So this is what I was thinking. FG. I'm thinking we discover with pitchers. 
Okay. Just like Fiend Franchise has, has promoted and has a great video on. We discover with pitchers international and probably central. But I need to look at the the prospects when they come out and count the number of starting pitchers that are central and international. Because if one of them's close to 30, then we won't discover there. We'll just discover in the other one. And then we can have these two guys scout pitching, pitching like areas, like international and central, for five weeks. We'll get them all at 80%. And then the last nine weeks, we can use them both to go after hitters and scout a shit ton of hitters. So we'll have 60 pitchers already scouted to 80%. And we'll have nine weeks of scouting players. Yeah, exactly, FG. I'll just do it all. That's what I used to do. I did fancy sports for 20 years, and I did all the salaries for these salary cap leagues. Hey, I tried I tried to get on to... Um, it wasn't FanDuel. It was DraftKings? Who was it? I tried to get on to do their, their salaries for their, their daily games, but they didn't hire me, obviously. Or you all would have known by now. I mean, it's what I did forever, and they just said, nah, we got somebody else. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, but this this A's slash Avengers franchise has excellent scouts as long as they don't quit. Okay. So we're going to stay with Rooker and Miller and Butler. Those three guys for sure. Everybody else is up for grabs. We'll trade and do whatever we have to do. You want to see some trades that we can do? Check this out. We can make that trade. We can get Jackson Holiday for a Geloff and a nothing pitcher. Check this out. Come on. I know. Come on. Shane Baz, anybody? Gary Carpenter has great power against righties. We could his defense sucks though, so, but we could play him in left field. Alex Marsh sucks. We could get Edward Julian from the Twins. We just had them, right? And we don't need Verlander. We could get Le Leody to play center field. Duran and Robertson. Jake Berger, that's our third baseman. Bryce Terang in A, second base. Nick Gonzalez. Hey, Perdomo, we can get him to play shortstop. <laughs> Hayden Birdsong, 74 overall, 22 is a B potential. What the fuck happened? I, I, I updated these guys and saved them. That's really, really strange. Uh, free agency. We can come in here and grab Nixon Zell, who crushes lefties. 80 power in this ballpark. Are you kidding me? 
and we could platoon him with Geloff the first year at second base because his defense is absolutely gross. So we could play him at second, and he would be the opposite of Geloff. We got guys like this that we can bring in to pitch in the bullpen. There's there's plenty of guys out here as free agents that we can bring in and bring in some youth to help the bullpen. There's nothing in starting pitcher wise, but I mean Crone. Senzel right there. Connor Smith and Jigma is only 24 years old. He's a C. Celestino is a C. Mazzotti, Mazziotti, he's 25 and a C. Cable's a D. Moises Gomez, he, he can hit. So we've we've got some options um, to, and we're not signing Soto, by the way. Let me get back to where Soto was. Soto's going to be a free agent again, right? Yeah, we're not signing Soto. He's out of the question. Tyler O'Neill wouldn't be bad to play left field, but he's a little older. Um, same thing with Santander, but we already have a DH. Uh, some of these older guys. Adamas wouldn't be bad for short. Um... There's not a ton in free agency, so it's one of those things where we're going to have to uh, make some trades and stuff. But what we're going to do with here's here's what the uniforms look like if you haven't seen it. Um, that's the home and away. Um, but we need power hitters because it's at altitude. It's 4,200 feet. We need speedy defensive center fielder that can go run down everything because it's a deep center field. And we need pitchers that strike people out. We need to be able to not allow contact, right? So when we're drafting, I'm going to I'm gonna default to the guys that have strikeouts per nine um, over walks per nine. So good hits per nine, good strikeouts per nine. I don't care about home runs per nine. Um, so we're going to have to go get those guys. So that's what we're going to look at. But um, you can see the hat and the jersey. Going with rocking the baby blues. And then the home, we got the gray, the uh, gold bill. And this is a cream colored. It's not white, it's cream. So that's what we're doing now that we're done with the Cardinals. Um, and... Uh, Today's only Wednesday, but tomorrow is Halloween, so we're not going to do it tomorrow. We could start Friday or Saturday. So, FG, this is what I'm planning on doing. We're going to do – I'm leaning towards doing the whole first half of the season in one stream. We'll just sim games. Maybe once in a while we might jump jump, blah, jump in and do player lock. But mostly I just want to get through the draft and get some good draft picks. Um, <clears throat> and then end it right before the draft. And the second stream would be the draft, the all-star break, the trade deadline, and finish the season. And then we would um, relocate the team, do the uniforms and all that good stuff. Although we could we could just do the whole first half, get through the draft, and stop. Because the second one, we're going to have to get through the season and do all the uniforms and do all that good stuff <clears throat> and see where we stand. And maybe do the off-season. So that's probably probably the better way. As the first half, we'll do all this. We'll focus on the scouting. We'll get through hold of all the first half to the, the the actual draft. Do the draft, and then pick up with the All Star break and finish the season. Move the team, and then do our entire uh, first off season at Utah. And that means stream three would be. Um, hold on, let me think. Let me let me rethink this.
if we did through the trade deadline, do the draft and through the trade deadline, pick up after the trade deadline, finish the season, move the team, do the uniforms, and do the entire offseason and spring training, that would get us through an entire season in two episodes. And then we could start with episode three at opening day in Utah. Maybe that's how we do it. Go all the way through the trade deadline, then finish the season, do the entire off season and spring training. I think I kind of like that better because I don't want to do an entire off season by itself. I want to get through the entire first season so that when we are in Utah, we can go with opening day and go. So that's that's probably the best way. So <clears throat> all right, we are done. Three and a half hours for a sweep. Thank you guys. I appreciate all of you guys. FG, man, seriously. Go back, watch it on double speed, and you'll get to see all the fun. You get to hear me laugh a lot because we hit so many fucking home runs. But anyway, who's out here? Yofi's playing NCAA. 25 fuck ea college sports it's ncaa 25 casuals playing seven days to die hindsight's back on project zomboid ronin's on evil within unless you guys want me to raid into donald trump and kamala harris on their live streams <laughs> i don't think you guys want to do that do you half the people like it half the people won't um so let's go raid yofi yeah, dear Lord is right. Let's go raid Yofi and stay away from politics. And uh, stay tuned, especially on my Discord. If you're not on my Discord, let me put the link here because um, I will tell you when I'm going to stream on there. So go click and join and you can uh, get that ahead of time. Yeah, you guys have a great time too. I'm feeling a double shot because I've eaten very little. So I need to go have some dinner and calm down. I'm not even overly excited that we won the World Series because we kicked their ass so bad it was anticlimactic. So the Dodger series was way more difficult. So I was physically tired after playing that one. <laughs> All right, let's go hit up Yofi. Go raid this guy. Good guy. And uh, we'll get that raid started. He's playing Kansas against Florida. Number two, Florida. We'll start that raid and when you guys are ready to go we'll head on over there and you have a good rest of the night and seriously watch your notifications for when we'll do utah and i'm excited to get this one started and we'll have fun being gm and making a shit ton of trades i'm telling you i'm gonna make as many trades as i possibly can and we'll remake this team and uh turn it into mine and uh, see how quickly we can get them to a world series so you guys take care have fun. Happy Halloween. And uh, good luck in the election for whoever you're going to vote for. And I will see you guys maybe over the weekend, if not next week. Love you guys. Take care. And adios. Mm -hmm.